removing this last bolt in order to remove this head. I want to show you something here. Well, fantastic, you made it. Hi, I'm John Graviscus. It's great to have you working around the boat with us again. Let me ask you a question. At any time during your experience out on the water, have you ever had a problem with your engine overheating? Well, let me show you something. Take a look at what's inside the water jacket. Do you see that white buildup, that salt? And this mineral happens to be a very good insulator. The only problem here is you don't want your water jackets insulated. How the manufacturer has designed these things to keep them from overheating is raw water flows in through the lower unit up to the power head and it circulates around your cylinders. And that's what gets the heat transferred from the firing of the pistons. It gets that heat back outside. But whenever you're boating in salt water or brackish water, you get this mineral pickup. And traditional flushing techniques are not working here. And I know what you're thinking. You know, John, it's obvious you're boating too much out there without flushing your engine. Well, guess what? Even if you flush your engines religiously, with conventional flushing technology, this is what you get. But fortunately today, here at ShipShape TV, we're gonna be showing you how to install a flushing system that will adequately deal with this problem. But before we get into it, you know the drill. You see, we've gotta get you to spend the next 30 minutes with us, and then in exchange, with a little help from a few of my very knowledgeable friends in the marine industry, we're all gonna try again and do our very best to let you in on a few more ways to make your boat ShipShape. ShipShape TV, America's favorite boat improvement show.